F-21D and DF-26B anti-aircraft carrier ballistic missiles and the new generation DF-41 intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, dash all part of the Dongfeng series, are on display in new footage for state-owned China Central Television, as part of a documentary series 8 part. Chinese state media aired footage of the country's most powerful strategic nuclear-capable weapons, including anti-ship carrier killers, to mark National Day, a move seen as a warning to the U.S. as tensions rise between rival powers. U.S. President Joe Biden has reiterated that America will defend Taiwan from any PLA attack. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, however, said he did not see the possibility of such aggression by Beijing, which is trying to establish a new normal with its military activities around the island. Two anti-ship missiles would pose a threat to U.S. carriers, while the DF-41 ICBM is capable of carrying multiple nuclear warheads with a range of more than 12,000 kilometers 7,450 miles, to hit any target on the U.S. mainland, defense experts noted, which sees documentaries as a strategic deterrence goal. At least a dozen DF-26B missiles with launchers, the equivalent of an entire missile brigade, were featured in the CCTV series that aired over the past week to mark the 73rd anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic. Displaying the Dongfeng series of strategic weapons is a subtle warning to the United States, which is inciting other countries to pressure Beijing over the Taiwan issue, because the fierce Ukraine war also poses a dilemma for China, said Song Vengping, former People's Liberation Army instructor. The PLA Rocket Force's strategic weapons are supposed to be featured in the National Day Military Parade, but China hosts such a major event only once in a decade or once in five years, which makes such video footage another option for the PLA to show its might. American Comrades The dual-capable missile, capable of carrying both conventional and nuclear warheads, would pose a major threat to U.S. carrier strike groups, Song warned. When dealing with U.S. warships, the conventional warheads on the dual-capable DF-21D and DF-26 missiles are strong enough to prevent them from entering Chinese waters due to their precision strike capabilities, he said. August 2020, the PLA Rocket Force launched two carrier killer missiles in the South China Sea to hit its designated target, a moving ship. This comes just a day after Beijing claimed a US U-2 spy plane had entered a no-fly zone without a permit during a Chinese naval exercise off the country's northern coast. The DF-21, with a range of about 1,800 kilometers, is described by state media as the most advanced in the series, while the DF-21D, which is capable of carrying multiple warheads, is billed as the world's first anti-ship ballistic missile. The DF-26 has a range of 4,000 km and can be used in nuclear or conventional strikes against land and sea targets. TV footage showed nearly two dozen DF-26B missiles and launchers, or at least two of these missile brigades, ready for combat. Posts on Chinese social media platforms showed one of the DF-26B brigades based in the northeastern city of Dalian, under the Northern Theater Command. A military source close to the PLA said China has also formed a new missile brigade based in its eastern and southern theater commands, focusing on the security of the Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea. It was part of an unprecedented direct-fire military drill around Taiwan launched by the PLA on August 4, in a dramatic escalation of tensions following U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taipei despite Beijing's repeated warnings about such a trip. Beijing sees self-governing Taiwan as part of China and has never ruled out using force to control it. Most countries, including the U.S., do not recognize Taiwan as an independent nation. Washington, however, opposes any attempt to take the island by force, 